Hi guys, you might remember a while back I made this glider from styrofoam plates and I had several suggestions about putting a motor on it and I did have a go, I used one of my vibrating toothbrush motors and a propeller that I'd bought off eBay but the propeller is much too big for that motor and it struggled. Well basically it did a powered dive rather than flying. Well a while back I actually ordered some cheap motors from eBay from China and they've arrived today. What caught my eye was they actually came with propellers. So hopefully they are matched propellers for the motors. They're slightly bigger motors anyway than the ones that I've got so they should be more powerful. So I'm going to take this motor off and mount one of these motors but I'll mount it at the back as a pusher because I had to add lots of weight at the back to balance out that propeller on the front. So we'll try it at the back see if we can do it without having to add any extra weight and run it from this super capacitor which is 2.7 volts, 5 farads. So that's what I'll do. I'll stick one of these on the back and see if we can get it to fly. There we are in position. So we've got our on off switch, super capacitor and motor. I just tried it in the bedroom there and it shot off in a vertical climb. So I'm a bit worried it may go too far not quite sure where to go and test fly it now. Certainly makes a difference having a decent motor on there. Those toothbrush motors really don't have any power. Not for this sort of application. Although I haven't tried it with the right sized propeller. That might be the next thing to do. Anyway, we'll have to go and test fly this somewhere. I'm just a bit worried it may fly off and I won't be able to find it again. Okay guys, we're in the park. So I'll charge it up. Give it about 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, twenty seconds, I reckon. Switch that off again. see what happens. Are you on, Mrs?
Right guys, I think that's enough test flights. Just had to go over to my neighbours and ask for my toy plane back, which is always a bit embarrassing. Because once I stopped it going in quite such tight circles, it decided to go straight. <laughs> so straight over the fence to next door. Anyway, seems to work. Uh, it's very sensitive to the trimming. I've been using this big paper clip, moving it backwards and forwards to adjust the centre of gravity. But other than that, it works. So that's the motor and propeller from eBay, China. I'll put a link to where I got it from. Super capacitor, on off switch, and two AA batteries in there to charge it up with. So I'm charging it with about 3 volts, and it's a 2.7 volt capacitor, so that should be fully charging it. And it lasts for a few seconds, which is enough to make it go round and round in the garden. So I think that's a success. I could spend a lot more time getting the trimming exactly right, but I don't think I'll worry about it.